Greetings, um, Coral Gables elected officials and other citizen leaders, uh, Jackson Rep. Holmes. I want to address the issue. I want to rebut, really, the uh, discussion that M Mayor Lago has put on the agenda about he's trying to uh, um, neuter uh, an audit uh, of the city of Coral Gables. And I think that the city should... Uh, defeat his efforts to undermine democracy and to perpetuate, sorry, to perpetuate uh, the developer hijacking of our city through PACs. Uh, um, but the audit that we need uh, <clears throat> is an audit uh, as to uh, the influence of developer contributions to uh, to uh, influencing our city and creating too much development that has already killed Coral Gables as a place to raise children from for during the 18 years of child rearing where you let's say somebody uh, has has a newborn and wants to move to Coral Gables it's it's dead it's not a safe place anymore thanks to Citizens United thanks to primarily Citizens United thanks to former Mayor Raul Valdez Fowley and thanks to Mayor Vince Lago, um, uh, the developerocracy, I call it, they, they donate 80% of all money that's donated to Coral Gables elections. And uh, um, the, all voters combined only donate 20%. So we need an audit of those uh, PACs, who donated what? which developers donated to whom and how much and what did they get out of it uh now cause and effect you know we can leave that for voters to decide uh but what i'm saying here is we need an audit that shows let's let's say developer x donated uh just going to pick a number here 30,000 to candidate A, 30,000 to candidate B, 30,000 to candidate C. What uh, development projects did uh, developer, did that developer get approved by the city? Um, and um, that's the audit we need. And any other whitewash audit provided or proposed, excuse me, by Mayor Lago should be voted down. That's not the audit we need. We're trying to restore democracy in Coral Gables. Um, um, and, you know, lest anyone think this is um, some kind of a um, uh, academic issue, it, it's, it's not. It has to do with the safety of children in Coral Gables. Uh, unfortunately, because of, most of all, Citizens United allowing developers to uh, to donate all of this money, which was not allowed previous to that, uh, and then to the administration of uh, Mayor Raul Valdez Fowley and the administration of Mayor Vince Lago, Coral Gables is no longer safe. There's no doubt. Coral, if, 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 if for children, in terms of raising a child from the age of zero as a newborn to the age of 18, where the child can be independent and live on their own. That's an 18 year uh, period. And uh, that the Coral Gables that we've had, that we grew up with, that was safe place for people to raise their children, it has, has is dead, it doesn't exist anymore. Thanks to, mostly to Citizens United and, and and the other uh, causes that I listed. Um, so this is not an academic issue. We need an audit of developer in influence on Coral Gables elections that reveals how uh, Citizens United has killed Coral Gables as a safe place to raise children from newborns to the age of 18. and I incorporate the rest of it, I'll keep it short. Thank you for listening.
no to whatever Ms. Mayor Lago is proposing, trying to undermine and destroy democracy in Coral Gables, and yes to a real audit of how uh, developers have uh, um, exerted destructive influence, as I've described. That's the audit we need, and we can settle for nothing less. We'll be able to get it. Um, I've, I've figured out if, if it's the last reason, I don't want to lay all of my cards on the table. We can get the audit we need.